Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use um, Octree structure inside uh, Rhino Grasshopper. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, double click on, on the canvas and then I choose uh, Octree. And then I'm going to create a box in Rhino. And here I'm going to uh, check the components of the, this component. And then we have here points and uh, square leaves and the group. And in this case, I'm going to uh, bring the populate uh, 3D, which is a populate geometry. And here I'm going to choose a VREP where I will select and set one VREP. And then I'm going to connect this VREP inside the region. And here we have the count. The count is the number of points uh, required. I'm going to choose, like, for example, the look up like this. And here we have the seed um, and um, uh, the points as list. And um, in this case, um, the seed is the, the random uh, position of the points, and here I'm, I, I, I might uh, choose also 20, a random number. And here I'm going to create more than one point. This is how you see the points in here. The points uh, change uh, their position by using the, the seed uh, slider. So I'm going to hook up uh, the points inside this region, uh, uh, inside the component of the octree. And uh, uh, here we have the uh, the square leaves. And in this case, I'm going to click on Rhino, Rhino source, and then choose height. So now the Rhino element is hidden. And in this case, I'm, I'm going also to hide um, uh, the VREP. So I'm going to say preview off. And here I'm, you, you can see, as you can see, the structure is created successfully. And here we have a random choice for the, the positioning of the points. Then as you can see, we have different uh, boxes. Uh, so I want to create a structure for these uh, boxes. Um, I will uh, choose a, a pipe. And here in pipe component, you can see that uh, it needs curve and radius. I'm going to choose 0.1 uh, as radius. And here I cannot connect a boxes, which is a VREP, to a curve. So I have, um, I need to bring the deconstruct, um, deconstruct uh, the VREP, and then hook up the boxes into uh, the VREP. And here I, I will have the faces, the edges, and the vertices. I'm going to con uh, connect, hook up the edges into uh, the curve and I may use 0.2 as radius and now I will choose to preview off all these uh, components um, and I will use the uh, color color swatch And the preview, custom preview, and connect uh, the structure. And as you can see, I may choose white or um, any different uh, color to differentiate between uh, the structure and the main faces. And we may also choose a different color uh, for. Uh, the faces.
And here you can see that uh, from this position we are controlling, but it will take uh, a lot of time because now we have uh, many components and um, it's not easy for um, um, the computer resources to uh, control, uh, to manipulate this easily. So it will, you might find that the calculation time uh, will be much more uh, bigger. Um, and, uh, there is also another uh, way of creating this structure using um, points uh, rather than using the populate uh, geometry option. Um, and I'm going to uh, copy all these components and use this option, which is here you have a set of points. I'm going to create a set of points uh, randomly. So you choose th this. You bring from here uh, what is called the multiple points. And then you kind of place them randomly. And here I'm going to choose the point component and then um, set multiple points. I'm going to select all these points together. And then as you can see, they're available here. Instead of using this uh, points created uh, from the box geometry, I'm going to hook up these points here. So now, I, I have the points inside Rhino Grasshopper and I can control them by myself. So here you can see that I'm able to change the position of the points, which uh, thereby um, the, the, the changing the position of uh, the points, it change the shape of the octree or the octree structure. So we have two options. Um, you either start by using, uh, we, you can have much more options uh, for sure, but here you can use the, the, the populate geometry using any type of geometry inside Rhino, or you can also use the multiple points where you can control each point on its own. Uh, thank you for watching and wait for more.